Hello everyone, I am Bruffy1322 and this video serves as an update to the fastest sports classics 2017 video where I show the best fully upgraded sports classic cars in terms of lap time. For all the information you need about this series, check the original sports classics video, but otherwise let's see where the new Torero falls into that list. And it's not too bad, but it's not on the absolute top pace. So just behind it in 6th place we've got the Z-Type which is quite a way off the top 5 now, over 3 seconds per lap off. In 5th place is where the Torero falls, it is the 5th best sports classic car in terms of lap time with a 1 minute 6.366. Now that is actually a very very close lap time to the 4th and 3rd place cars. So in 5th place we've got the Torero with a 106.366, in 4th place we've got the Infernus Classic with a 106.267, so almost exactly one tenth of a second quicker. And then in third place, there is the Sterling GT with a 106.166, so exactly two tenths of a second quicker than the Torero, and almost one tenth of a second quicker than the Infernus Classic. So there's basically almost exactly one tenth of a second separating the Torero, the Infernus Classic, and the Sterling GT in fifth, fourth, and third places for the Sports Classics class. The only problem with for those three cars is that the Cheetah Classic and the Turismo Classic exist and they get one minute four lap times. So the Cheetah Classic and the Turismo Classic are by far and away the best cars to use in the class. And the Sterling GT, the Infernus Classic and the Torero all in this one minute 6.12 and 3 area. They, they can't hold a candle to those top cars. They just have too much grip and they're more like regular sports cars than they are sports classics cars. Having said that, the Torero Classic is quite similar to the Infernus Classic in the way that it drives and it's 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 you know relatively quick considering you know the, the Sterling GT used to be the number one sports classic car for a long long time much much quicker than what used to be in second place which was the Z-Type and now we've got the the Infernus Classic and the the Torero that are right on the pace with the Sterling GT it's just the the existence of the Turismo Classic and the, the the Cheetah Classic that are much much quicker than even you know the new cars, the new Infernus and the Torero that we've seen, that they completely dominate the class. So it is still really only the Turismo Classic and the Cheetah Classic that are really really up there in terms of the Sports Classics class. You can use the Infernus Classic, the Sterling GT and the Torero if you really want. And obviously when it comes to long highway races, the Z-Type is the one that you want. We will see the top speed of the Torero in tomorrow's video. But yeah, really, it, it is, it, it's kind of in that middle group now, the Torero, with the Infernus Classic and the Sterling GT, that it is off the pace and really it, it, can't, it, it can't hold a candle to the top two, but it still gets a relatively decent lap time and it certainly leagues ahead of all the other sports classics in the game. There's certainly, you know, three distinct groups at the top of the sports classic class. We've got the top two, then we've got this middle three in third, fourth and fifth, and then there's pretty much all the rest of them. So yeah, the trail is not too bad, but I imagine a lot of people are probably buying it more for its looks and uh, the nostalgia factor. That It is kind of the real Infernus classic, you know, the Vice City Infernus really. So I'm, I imagine most people are buying it for that and not for its speed, but at least it helps you to know how well it would do. Like I said, we will be starting out the top speed of the Torero tomorrow, but that's it for now. Obviously, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Remember to read the description for more info, comment with your thoughts, like the video if you enjoyed or found it helpful, and subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.